Melissa. What do most kids think of when they hear the word circus? Popcorn, lemonade, cotton candy. No, no, not not just what they're going to eat. What they're going to see. I suppose it's wild animals, lions and tigers especially. That's what I think too. Imagine what it must be like being in a cage full of lions. Why imagine? Going into a cage full of lions and tigers isn't only a man's job. Some of the circus's top trainers are women. If that lady looked tense, it's because she was. All trainers know how suddenly danger can be there. She knows that things can go wrong inside that cage, because it happened to her one night in Paris when she was showing her lion act. Did you ever wonder why people become wild animal trainers? One reason could be is that it runs in the family. In England, there were three brothers named Chipperfield who trained wild animals. Each one of them had a child who became an animal trainer. Here's one of them, Dick Chipperfield. I can see how you might become an animal trainer if your parents were animal trainers, but how would you get started? Well, if you're a member of the Chipperfield family, like Sally Dugan, at the age of eight, you go into the cage with your uncle, while your grandfather stands outside. And while Sally Dugan learns what she's supposed to do, the young lions and tigers are learning their jobs at the same time. What an awful feeling. What? I can never learn to be a lion trainer. Well, why not? I'm too old. Oh, Melissa. You want to see a cute lion trainer? My favorite chipper field is Tommy, and he's 16 years old. So, Melissa, if you start now, by the time you're 16, you'll be ready to go into a cage full of lions and tigers. Right now, I'd rather watch somebody else do it. And when I'm 16, I think I'll feel the same way. That's what we look with horses. So that's one animal we know something about. It's amazing how many different ways horses are used in the circus. We'd like to show you some. It takes a lot of different animals and a lot of different people to make up the world of the circus. We'll be showing you a lot of both, including elephants, acrobats, dogs that play football, and some circus acts we might be right for, or you might be right for, when we come back. All right, and this is But tonight, we're a couple of circus ringmasters, and we're using our real names. I'm Melissa Sue Anderson, and this is Melissa Gilbert. You said something a minute ago, but that things we could do in the circus. Well, I can't train lions, or swing under a galloping horse. Can you play with a beach ball? Sure. Okay.